I started writing Istanbul Passage because, like Leon Bauer, its protagonist, I fell in love with this city. I'm standing on Galata Bridge, the heart of Istanbul, one of the fabled crossroads of the world. Istanbul was a city of Greeks and Armenians and Sephardic Jews and Circassian slave girls, all the peoples of a vast empire. In 1945, the time of Istanbul Passage, it was also a city of spies. Leon Bauer was one of them. An American businessman, he was much like his adopted city, deceptively calm, inscrutable to outsiders, and with a gift for intrigue. Istanbul came by that gift naturally. As a neutral city at the edge of the war, Istanbul was a refuge and a last safety valve. Trapped European Jews, if they were miraculously lucky enough to get out, arrived here at Sirkaji Station. But Istanbul was also a magnet for spies of all sorts who fought their own war all over the city, in its markets, its nightclubs, its restaurants, but most of all, in its consulates and the grand hotels that served as their social centers. This is the former American consulate, all boarded up now, but you can still see the carved American eagle over the chancery door where people would have lined up for their visas. Official, all business, an unlikely place, you might think, for a murder. Its watering hole, just down the street, and featured in Leon's story, is the Para Palace Hotel, originally built for passengers on the Orient Express, once host to Matahari, and today still going strong. Across town in Taksim was the German consulate, and its nearby watering hole, the Park Hotel. As you can see by the blue scaffolding, the park is gone, but in its heyday, as it appears in Istanbul Passage, it was the real-life Rick's Cafe, filled with Nazis, Russians, Turkish secret police, and young American agents just learning the ropes. Leon Bauer was one of those new agents, operating on the fringe of a clandestine world, then shifting from the black and white struggle of World War II to the grayer, murkier area of the Cold War. It all goes wrong for Leon here, on the shores of the Bosporus. What do you do when there's no right thing to do? Who do you trust when everyone is suspect, maybe even the woman you love? There is more than one passage in Istanbul Passage. The passage of a refugee ship to freedom, a defector to safety, a loyal wife to infidelity, an agent to the dark side of espionage. But most of all, Istanbul Passage is the story of Leon's moral passage to the decision he finally has to make on Galata Bridge. All the while, like this great city straddling Europe and Asia, trying to keep his balance to survive. <laughs>